I am Dave Epstein. This is Growing Wisdom. We are here today at Garden in the Woods where they do things organically and they've been working with compost teas as well as other organics for many years. We're going to meet Scott LaFleur, the Botanic Garden Director at Garden in the Woods. Scott, I was watching you do some of this compost tea. Really good for the plants, isn't it? It's fantastic for the plants. The thing that's great about compost tea is you're actually feeding the soil. And it's the soil that gives the plants the nutrients that they need, not the fertilizer that you're buying in a store and putting on. Scott, when you talk about soil, that's sort of the unseen world for a lot of people. And there's a lot going on down there. Tell me about this soil web that you've been talking about and how this process is really benefiting that. Well, at the New England Wildflower Society, we're always talking about the web of life, how plants and birds in, in, interact and work together. There's a soil food web as well. And in the soil, you have protozoa and nematodes and bacteria and mycorrhizal fungi. And those players in the soil food web break down nutrients and make that available to plants. So even when you're putting manufactured fertilizer on your plants, they're not taking that fertilizer indirectly. That needs to be broken down and then made available to the plants. So Scott, feeding the soil, how often and is there a time of day we should be feeding the soil? Yeah, compost tea is uh, UV sensitive. So trying to do it early in the morning or late in the afternoon is much better than a bright time of the day. Uh, the second thing is that compost tea needs to be used within two hours of brewing it. So it is a living solution. So you want that solution to be alive as you're applying it to the plants. So the next question I want to ask is, can you do this at home? Yeah, Dave, we can definitely do this at home and I can show you how. We have some one set up right over here to use. Great. I like contraptions, Scott. This <laughs> looks fun. So tell me step by step sort of what we're doing here. First, take your finished compost and you're going to fill the basket full of compost into the compost tea brewer. We're going to add in water and then we're going to give the compost and the microorganisms something to eat by adding sugars or humic acids or kelp. You're going to take the basket, you're going to suspend that into the compost tea brewer, and then we're going to force air into that, and that whole, that whole process is going to create a situation where the microorganisms in your compost can multiply about tenfold and become really beneficial to your plants and it makes it easier to apply. I brew a cup of tea for three minutes. How long does it take to brew this? 12 to 24 hours. And then, Scott, I'm assuming you just use the spigot and put it into a backpack spray or even a watering can. Yes, that's right. Awesome information. Cutting edge, love it. And uh, if I want one of these, where do I get it? You can get one right here at Garden in the Woods, or you can get a hold of us through our website, newenglandwild.org, and we'll ship one to you. Perfect. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Scott. And thank you for watching another edition of Growing Wisdom.